You may have heard of cortisol as the stress hormone, but do you know what it does and what happens when you have too much of it? Cortisol is a hormone produced by your adrenal glands, which are small organs located on top of your kidneys. It belongs to the class of glucocorticoids. This means it helps regulate your metabolism, inflammation, blood pressure, blood sugar, and sleep cycle. So, it is essential for your survival and well-being. It helps you cope with stress by preparing your body for fight or flight, which simply means that when you face a threat or a challenge, cortisol increases your heart rate, blood pressure, blood sugar, and energy levels. It also shuts down functions that are not essential in the moment, such as digestion, reproduction, and immunity. This way, cortisol helps you deal with the situation and restores balance afterward. However, cortisol can also cause problems if it is too high or too low. Your body has a feedback system that monitors your cortisol levels and adjusts them accordingly. Your hypothalamus and pituitary gland in your brain can sense if your blood contains the right amount of cortisol. If it is too low or too high, they send signals to your adrenal glands to fine-tune the amount of cortisol they release. But sometimes, your cortisol levels can get out of whack and remain high for too long. This can happen if you are exposed to chronic or prolonged stress or due to other factors such as illness, overuse of medications, or tumors. If your body produces too much cortisol for a long time, you may develop a condition called Cushing syndrome, and it can lead to a number of health issues, including Number 1. Weight gain. Cortisol increases your appetite and makes you crave sugary and fatty foods. It also causes fat to accumulate around your abdomen, face, and neck. This is because cortisol promotes the breakdown of muscle and the conversion of carbohydrates and proteins into fat. It also inhibits the action of insulin, which is the hormone that helps your cells use glucose for energy. As a result, more glucose is stored as fat in your belly, where there are more cortisol receptors. Number 2. Muscle Weakness Cortisol breaks down muscle tissue and reduces protein synthesis. This can make you feel weak and tired. Number 3. Skin Problems Cortisol can break down collagen and elastin which are the proteins that keep our skin firm and elastic. This can lead to wrinkles, sagging, and loss of volume in our skin. Cortisol can also affect the blood flow to our skin, making it look dull and pale. You may also develop acne. The reason this happens is that high cortisol levels cause our skin's sebaceous glands to produce more sebum, otherwise known as oil. As many of us know by now, too much oil production in our skin can clog our pores and lead to acne breakouts. Number four, mood changes. Cortisol affects your brain chemistry and can alter your mood, motivation, and fear. You may also experience anxiety, depression, irritability, or difficulty concentrating. Number five, hormonal imbalances. Cortisol interferes with other hormones in your body, such as estrogen, testosterone, and thyroid hormones. This can affect your menstrual cycle, fertility, sex drive, and bone health. Number six, weak immune system. Cortisol lowers your immunity and makes you more susceptible to infections and inflammation. This is because it lowers the number and activity of lymphocytes in your blood, which are a type of white blood cell that help fight off infections and diseases. Number seven, high blood pressure and sugar levels. It is known that high cortisol levels can raise your blood pressure, but the exact mechanism of how it does this is not known till now. It also raises blood sugar levels as it releases stored glucose in your body. So now, how can you lower your cortisol levels? Well, if you have high cortisol levels due to a medical condition or a tumor, you need to consult your doctor for proper diagnosis and treatment. However, if you have high cortisol levels due to chronic stress or lifestyle factors, you can try some natural ways to lower them. Number one, manage your stress. Stress is the main trigger for cortisol production. Therefore, finding healthy ways to cope with stress is crucial for lowering your cortisol levels. You can try relaxation techniques such as meditation, breathing exercises, or yoga. 
You can also seek social support from friends or family or talk to a therapist if needed. Number two, exercise regularly. Physical activity can help you release tension and improve your mood. It can also boost your metabolism and help you burn fat. It can also boost your immune system by increasing blood circulation and lymphatic flow. However, avoid overexercising or doing intense workouts that can increase your cortisol levels. Aim for moderate exercise that makes you sweat but not exhausted. Number three, eat a balanced diet. What you eat can affect your cortisol levels as well. Avoid foods that are high in sugar or refined carbohydrates that can spike your blood sugar and insulin levels. Instead, eat foods that are rich in protein, fiber, and healthy fats that can keep you full and satisfied. Also include foods that are high in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that help fight off infections and diseases. Number four, get enough sleep. Sleep and cortisol have a complex relationship. Cortisol follows a circadian rhythm, which means it rises and falls throughout the day and night. Cortisol levels are usually highest in the morning, when we need to wake up and face the day, and lowest at night, when we need to relax and fall asleep. However, when we are stressed or have poor sleep habits, this rhythm can get disrupted. High cortisol levels can make it harder to fall asleep and stay asleep, and poor sleep can make cortisol levels rise even more. It's a vicious cycle that can affect our health and well-being. One study found that workers who work night shifts and sleep during the day have higher cortisol levels than day shift workers. So trying to have a consistent sleep schedule by going to bed and waking up at the same time every day and try to get at least seven hours of sleep every day. Also, try to avoid caffeine six hours before bed. So. These were some lifestyle changes you can try to lower your cortisol. But if you have some of the signs we explained that won't go away for a while, see a doctor for diagnosis and treatment. For the diagnosis, your doctor will order some tests to measure your cortisol levels in your blood. And depending on the cause and severity of your high cortisol levels, your doctor may recommend different treatments. If you are taking medications for another condition, your doctor may lower your dose or switch you to another type of medication that has less effect on your cortisol levels. And if none of the lifestyle changes we talked about work, your doctor may prescribe some medications that block the production or action of cortisol in your body. Some examples are ketoconazole, metarapone, and mitotan. At the end, remember that stress is inevitable but how you deal with it can make a big difference for your health and happiness. Thanks for watching.